Hey everybody, how is it going? I'm going to show you how to install the saw mod and the custom shaders patch to have this beautiful ring working on your Assetto Corsa game and also how I'm going to show you how to activate the physics to react with the wet surfaces of the tracks. Let's get into it now. First of all, this custom shaders patch file is not free. You have to become an EUGES Patreon in order to have access to the content manager serial number you, we are going to use and also the file. Lights patch version 0 0.1.63 preview 3. First of all, after you becoming a patron, you're gonna get a, an email from him with a link uh, and you can copy the content manager key we are going to use now to install over here. So in your content manager, you navigate to the settings, content manager, and change the serial number here. Put the one you got and this is the first step. After this, we are going to get the, the saw mod from the race department. It's the official one, saw 1.6.2. You download this. I have the file over here also. And uh, we are going to remove the preview the, the previous uh, installation we have on our Assetto Corsa. So open up this file, go to mods, enter this folder and get this so uninstall.bat file and drag and drop it in your Assetto Corsa main installation folder. Now you run it and it removes all the files of the previous installation of Sol on your computer. Press enter and now we are going to install this version we just downloaded. Select the four, fold, uh, four folders here and drag and drop into the main installation folder of Assetto Corsa. Replace all the files. And now we are going to, to do a very important step. Let's close Content Manager, open it up again. And we are going to check if the settings on the Custom Shaders patch is OK. Into the Lightning FX tab, check if the number of the brightness is 100%. Now we are going to enter in any combination of track and car. We are going to open the salt config, go to the last page. Uh, also, we can we we need to to check if the if the version of Sol is the one we are. We are going to use this is the version 1.6.1. 1. 
make sure. Other thing, very important thing is go to your apps and disable the RSR Lifetime app because if you don't do this, uh, it won't allow you to to set up the ring properly. Okay, the next step is to make sure you don't have anything here in the list pending installation because otherwise it will make the installation fail. So I don't have any in my list here. So we can proceed to the installation of the custom shader pad. We're going to get this file here. And drop it. Especially drop it in the in the drive tab, because if you drop it in the in the tab that we have other other um, other versions, um, sometimes it understands you are trying to make a trying to install uh, two versions at, at the same time. So that's why I click drive and drop the file over here. Now we can see a green button here is available and we are going to install this. As I said, sometimes I don't know why we get this problem. So click out close this, open it up again, do the same. Now we are going, to, now we work. Click this clean old configs and shaders first and click install. Now we can check if the version is here, but we have to close and open again. Yes, it's there. You see? It's grayed out, but it's installed. Uh, make sure you get a car and a track from Kunos to avoid problems. We can set a uh, uh, any any weather you want here, time etc. And enter the, the the track now. As you can see, it's already working. If you want to change anything, you can change on the fly. If you want to change the, the plan, the weather plan, you can click here. Plan, solve plan selector and you can change it, anything you want here. Especially because uh, in this stage of development is not uh, dependent, one is not dependent of the other. The custom shaders patch is not related to the saw mod for now. So you can have a clear weather but keeps raining. But the problem is with the wipers because it understands the clear weather uh, doesn't need the, the wipers. So you can click here and manually increase or decrease the, the speed. If you change to a plan uh, that has the, the, the Rain working, you can keep it into the auto wipers with no problem. Other thing you can do is uh, click saw weather and change the time for anything you want, and you can click here in the bottom weather effects debug. This is the one that you can control the rain. Here we have rain, wetness, and water. If we change the rain, the other two parameters are not affected. But if we click here, linked, we are going to link the three parameters all together. You can control. 
throw them uh, alone, each one independently, or you can click the link and have all the three working together. Let's change one thing here so we can see better. Uh, now that we have more reflections in the road, we can see uh, a little bit better what I'm trying to explain. So let me turn the manual wipers. Here we control the amount of puddles on the track. Here we control the amount of wetness on the track. And here we control the rain. So we can have puddles and uh, a wet track but with no rain and the opposite also and if you want all of them working together just click linked okay this is the, the part i would like to explain to you and show how this works but now let's try let me show you how to change the physics well, to activate the physics, we are going to change one thing, uh, three things we are going to change, but I recommend you to make a backup of your car to make sure you can revert to the original state, because if you try to, to enter a, an online section with the changes we are going to make, probably you, you won't, you won't be able to. So. I am going to get the Ford Escort car to do that. Over here. KS Ford Escort MK1. I am going to copy this folder. You don't need to do that if you don't play online, but if you play online, make this backup. Paste it somewhere you can uh, you can grab from if you if you need to. All right, so now into Content Manager we are going to locate this car. Over here. And you, you can see there's a unpack, uh, sorry, um, first we have to turn our content manager um, as, a, as a developer. So if you have, if you go in about tab and click on the version 10 times, you keep clicking on the version, there's a pop-up that will show in the center of your screen asking if you want to turn your content manager into developer mode you click yes click yes then you have access to this to this button here otherwise this button will not be here what this does uh, it opens this file extracts the content of this file so when you click unpack, you can see creates a folder here with many files in there. And this file here uh, is the source of this folder. Now we can we need to delete this file. You have to delete this file because otherwise the the game will read the file instead of the folder. Okay? Now we are going to change the car.ini, open it with a text editor like notepad. And we are going to change the two things here. I am going to keep all, all this in the description of the video, right? So we can copy this line extended minus one and after the equal sign 
we are going to paste it. So instead version equals one, we are going to have version equals extended minus one. The next step is to copy this line, click here, two enters and paste it here. Now you save the file, close it, close it again, go here and click pack data. It says you uh, the, the result of the file will, will be different, so you won't be able to play online. That's why I make backup first. If I want to play online, I overwrite the files here with the original one and can enter a section online. I will click yes. Now we have the data ACD again here, but with the changes we made. And that's it. This car is prepared to interact with the wet surfaces of the, the rain that is happening here in the track we are choosing. Uh, other thing, uh, try to choose the Silverstone or Spa or Ben's Hatch because the three I, I have 100% sure there is working. And that's it, sorry for my bad English. Uh, it's been a while I do not speak English, so we get a little bit bad in it. <laughs> uh, there's a, a lot of echo in the room I am right now because I changed a lot of things here and the room is a little bit empty. But I hope you, you, can, um, you can have a lot of fun with everything I explained here today. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions, any comments, to, do not hesitate to write here for me. I'll make sure to read everything and answer everybody. That's it. Have fun, guys. See you later. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.